So we're given John is riding a bike along a straight path for 0 to 20. John's velocity is given by this table. And we want to use a data table to estimate the value of v prime of 8. So in order to find v prime of 8, we want to use the average rate of change from 6 to 10. So that will be v of 10 minus v of 6 over 10 minus 6. V of 10 is 600, V of 6 is 500, and then 10 minus 6 is 4, so that gives us 100 over 4, which is 25 meters per, per minute squared. So this is the answer to part A. For part B, we want to find John's average acceleration over the interval from 6 to 12. Okay, so for that, we want to find the average rate of change from 6 to 12. So that will be V of 12 minus V of 6 over 12 minus 6. V of 12 is negative 430. V of 6 we said is 500, and then 12 minus 6 is 6, so this is negative 830 over 6, which is negative 415 over 3, and we need the units for that to be meters per minute squared. Okay, for part C, we're given the velocity for Sam, and we want to find her acceleration at time t equals 3. So in order to find the acceleration, you need to find the derivative first. So the derivative is we're going to bring down the power. So 3 times a half is 1.5. t squared minus 4t. I'm going to plug in t equals 3 now. So it's 1.5 times 3 squared minus 4 times 3 and we get 1.5 meters per minute squared okay part D at time t equals 3 John is at position 200 meters Sam is at position 300 meters as measured from Sam's starting point so find the rate of meters per minute at which the distance between John and Sam is changing at t equals 3. Okay, so for this, it's good to draw a diagram. So John is over here. Sam is over here. And let's say this is 0. So John is at 200 meters. Sam is at 300 meters. So right now, they're 100 apart. So if I were to come up with a formula for the distance, the distance would be Sam minus John. Okay. Now to make things simpler, I'm going to say that, let's see, X is John, Y is Sam. So that's their positions. Okay. And I'm going to say that the distance is Z. So Z is distance between Sam and John. So it'll be z equals y minus x. That represents a distance between uh, Sam and John. So then I want to find the rate at which the distance between John and Sam is changing at time t equals 3. So I have to take the derivative of this. So that would be dz over dt is equal to dy over dt minus dx over dt. So for this one, these are um, derivatives of the position. So the derivative of the position is really the velocity. Okay, so I want to find dz over dt, but how is, let's see, why we said Sam? How is Sam changing? How is his position changing? Well, that, that's his velocity. So velocity for Sam is defined to be one half t cubed 
minus 2t squared plus 100. So I need to see what his velocity is at time t equals 3. So I'm going to plug in t equals 3 in here and get 95 and a half. And that is meters per minute. Okay, so that's going to be 95 and a half. Now, what is John's uh, velocity? We're actually given John's velocity at time t equals 3. And as we can see, let's see, John's velocity at time t equals 3 is 200. So we're going to subtract 200 from 95 and a half, and we get that it's negative 104.5 meters per minute. And this makes sense that it's negative since John is faster. <clears throat> John's velocity is, is larger. And John is trailing Sam. So we expect it to be the distance supposed to be negative. The rated distance negative because the distance between them is shrinking. And this is our final answer.